Hi, mathematicians. My name is Miss Cordova, and I am a second grade teacher at Viewlands Elementary School. Today, I'm going to play two math games with you. The first math game we're going to play is called Guess My Number. In this game, you're going to try to guess what number it is that I have in my brain. When you're playing with this with somebody at home, you can be the one who has a number in their brain, or the person that you're playing with can also be the one, and you would be the one making the guesses. When I'm playing with this with you today, I want you to be able to see the numbers. So I have this number line for you. This number line goes from zero to 20. If you're playing this at home, you don't need to use a number line, but you can if you wanna keep track of your numbers and have some numbers to choose from. You can make this on your own by just getting a piece of paper and drawing a line down the middle. You can start by writing the numbers down or you can just write them down as you make your guesses. So go ahead and use this number line to guess my number. Now, you can either decide to ask me questions to get closer to the number, or I can decide to give you clues. For example, you might ask me if my number is 10, and I would say no. But I can give you a clue that says, my number is not 10, but my number is greater than 10. When I give you that clue, you can think about what my number could be now that you know it is greater than 10. Well, let's start by thinking about what my number can't be. If my number is greater than 10, it cannot be any of these numbers that come before 10 on the number line. It cannot be any numbers that are less than 10. It's greater than 10. Okay, go ahead and take a new guess. Now that you know my number is greater than 10, make a new guess. Hmm. Is your number 16? My number is not 16, but I'll tell you that my number is less than 16. Let's look at our number line again. Here is the number 16. I've just told you it is less than 16, which means what? It means it can't be these numbers that are greater than 16 on the number line. It means it is less. I gave you a clue at the beginning that my number was greater than 10, which means that now you wanna look in this area of the number line. My number is somewhere between 10 and 16. Go ahead and guess my number. If you guessed 12, you were right. My number was 12. Now, when you're playing this at home, you don't need to use a number line like I have. You can decide to draw a number line on a piece of paper or write down some numbers. For example, if I tell you that my number is greater than 10, you can write yourself a little note to tell yourself that my number is greater than 10 in order to keep track. If you are the one making the guesses, you can ask for clues like is it greater than or is it less than, you can also ask if it is a certain number. If you're the ones with the number in your brain and helping the other person, you can decide to give them clues or just ask them to try to guess. Okay, the next game that I'm gonna play with you is actually called Handful of Snap Cubes in my classroom. But when I was getting ready to play this game with you today, I realized that I don't have snap cubes because I'm not in my classroom. Just like you, I'm staying at home. So I had to think of a different way to play this game. To play this game, you need to find something that's going to fit in your hand and something that you can fit many of in your hand. So think of something that you have in your home that you could fit many of them in a hand. For example, do you have Legos? Uh, does your family keep a jar of pennies? Do you have a puzzle? I have a puzzle. I don't have Legos or a jar of pennies, but I do have a puzzle, a puzzle that has a thousand pieces in it. I know that I could go in and grab a handful of these puzzle pieces. Now, here's what you're going to do. 
Once you know what it is that you're going to count, you're going to make an estimation. An estimation is a guess based on some information that you already have. Your estimation is for how many puzzle pieces do you think I can grab with one handful? When you're doing this on your own, you're making a guess for your own item. I wanna show you what these puzzle pieces look like so that you can make a really smart estimation. Let me go ahead and show you that. Here's my puzzle piece. Here's my hand. How many of these puzzle pieces do you think I can fit when I grab one handful? Are you ready to see? Before I do that, go ahead and make your guess. Okay. Got your guess ready? All right, here are the puzzle pieces that I grabbed with a handful. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, 24, 25, 26, 27. I was able to grab 27 puzzle pieces in that handful. Let's go ahead and double check my count. Now when I check my count a second time, I can count by ones, but you might notice that I organized them in rows of 10. I did this to make it easier for me to count a second time. 10, 20, those are two groups of 10. Let's count on from 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I pulled 27 puzzle pieces with one handful. Now, how many do you think I will grab if I try a second time and try to get even more? What if I try to go in and get two fistfuls of puzzle pieces? How many do you think I could pick up then? When you're playing this game at home, you can make all kinds of different guesses and predictions, estimates, for how many you're going to be able to pick up. Think about things like, hmm, what if my puzzle pieces were larger than this? Would I be picking up more or fewer puzzle pieces? What if the object I was picking up was smaller? would I be picking up fewer or more of that object? You can also think about the other people that you're playing with at home. For example, I know that if my niece are playing this game with me, she's gonna have smaller hands. So how many would she pick up if we were playing this game together? This is a really great way to practice your counting and practice putting your numbers in groups so that you can count multiple things at a time. All right. We started this video by playing Guess My Number. I would like to play that with you again, but I want to play it with a bigger challenge. So this time we're going to use a hundreds chart. And the reason I wanted to use a hundreds chart with you is because I want to make it a little bit harder. My number is somewhere on this hundreds chart. Now, it's really hard to guess a number with this many choices. So I want you to try to think to yourself about the type of clues I should give you to help you get closer to the number. I should probably tell you that my number is greater than or less than a certain number. So are you ready? My number is less than 80. Let's find 80 on our hundreds chart. There it is. If my number is less than 80, that means that it is on this side of 80, going all the way up to 
1. My number is less than 80. That means that I can decide what my number can't be. And my number can't be any of these numbers that are greater than 80 because I said my number was less. Now I have a question for you. Could my number be 80? If I said my number was less than 80, could it actually be 80? It can't. My number could not be 80. Okay, go ahead and try to guess my number again. Are you ready for your next clue? My number is greater than 30. Here's 30. I said my number was greater. That means it cannot be these numbers that are on the other side of 30, the numbers that are less than 30, going all the way up to 1 on my hundreds chart. And again, could my number be 30? Nope, it could not, because I said it was greater than 30. Now, I want you to start noticing some patterns on this hundreds chart. What do you notice about all of these numbers? 31, 32, 33. What about these numbers? 41, 42, 43. Hmm, I'm starting to notice that each of these rows start with the same number until you get to the very end. So another way you can give a clue when you're playing guess my number is by talking about the number itself like this. Hmm, Miss Cordova, does your number have a four at the beginning? Like, does it start with the word 40? And I would tell you, yes, it does. My number starts with 40, which means it cannot be in this row that starts with 30. It could be this number or any of these, but it also can't be a number that begins with a five. You might also say that these numbers have a five, six, and seven in the tens place. My number has a four in the tens place, or begins with 40. Okay, go ahead and guess my number. If you guessed that my number was 45, you got it. My number was 45. Now again, you don't need to have a hundreds chart to play this game, but you do need to tell the person who is guessing that your name, that your number is somewhere between this number and that number, because there are so many numbers that it can get super confusing if you're trying to choose from any possible number on the world. So. I hope you have a good time playing Guess My Number today with somebody at home and playing Handful of Things with a special item. You can play Handful of Things by yourself and keep making predictions. You do need a friend to play Guess My Number with, but I was able to play by myself, so you can try that too. All right, mathematicians, I hope you have a great time doing some math games this week and that you're staying safe. We all miss you.